Hello everyone, today we're gonna be doing a glitch effect in Photoshop 2022. First let's hit Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Next let's go ahead and add the adjustment layer, hue saturation. Tick the colorize uh, checkbox and let's create a blue color tint on this image. Once we're done with the adjustment, let's put them both in one folder. Once again, let's duplicate the original image or press Ctrl J. Again, let's add hue saturation, click colorize. Just making sure that the uh, pink tone will be on top of the blue tone layer. Now that we got that organized, let's go ahead and create the pink tone and adjust the sliders for saturation, lightness, and hue. Once you're done with the adjustments, let's put them again in folder. Next, let's merge the layers in group 2 by selecting the hue, saturation, and image layer and press Ctrl E to merge layers. Let's do the same steps for group 1 or the blue tone layers. Next, let's select the pink layer and adjust the blending mode to linear dodge. Next, let's select the rectangular marquee tool and create random lines on top of our pink layer. Next, let's select the move tool or keyboard shortcut V to offset the selection. Let's move it to the left and move it a little bit to the bottom to create a vertical offset. Let's move the selection by using the transform selection tool. And let's move the selection a little bit to the right to exaggerate the glitch effect. Or maybe we can scale it a little bit smaller and move it to the middle. Next, I'm going to add the text glitch and I'm going to use the Franklin Gothic font. I'm going to duplicate it three times. I'm going to color the bottom uh, text uh, as a pink tone. I'm going to color the middle text as a darker shade of green and the top text will be uh, the aqua color. For the alignment, I just move them a little bit off from the original position to create a glitch effect. Next, let's set the blending mode for pink layer to difference, middle text layer to overlay, and top text layer, which is the aqua color, to divide. To add the finishing touches, let's add another hue saturation adjustment layer and set the hue to pink color. I think adding a little bit of noise effect will make it more realistic. So to add that, let's add another adjustment layer. Let's select the solid. Let's set it to white color. Next, let's go to the top filter menu and select the noise effect. And add noise. On the noise effect panel, set amount all the way to the right. Select cushion and a tick monochromatic checkbox. Let's set the blending mode to subtract and move the layer on top of the hue saturation layer. Next, let's select the mask on the noise effect layer and set the brush tip to soft round pressure opacity. Next, let's brush over the vehicle to reduce the effect and make it a little bit more visible. And now for the final step, let's select pink layer and set the opacity to 84% to bring out more of that blue tone and kind of blend them together. And after that, this is the final result and we're done. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.